Hello friends, my name is Samit. I'm replacing this drum baffle today on Electrolux dryer. It, do you remove the top panel? It's held by two bobbits and screws. I'll show you these screws. I removed both of them from the top back side. I had to climb up all the way to the top of the uh, dryer by using a step stool to remove that. And now you can see the top of the drum is uh, loose. I removed the top panel. And you see this plastic piece is called the drum baffle, or they call it vein or drum mixing plastic piece. But the real name is uh, baffle. I removed these three screws, it falls down inside of the drawer. And you can see it's inside falling down. And those tiny balls, you can see is lint that over time builds up. And because of the drum uh, spinning back and forth, and, uh, you get that ball and this plastic piece port number is 5304-531-775 in order to replace this you have to work on it from the inside with one hand and from outside with your of course you're looking at the screws you're lining up the holes from the bottom to the top of the drum <coughs> which is outside and once you add all of these three screws one by one it's a little bit tricky because you have to line up the holes once you line up the holes and you can see the hole from outside you can just keep adding your screws one by one three robots of screws uh, you add them do not over tight it otherwise you're going to spread the screws on sort of this plastic and it's going to cause more issues and just to let you know what causes this baffle to get damaged on these wires or overheating issue or if you're adding a lot of heavy stuff or something you have your clothes and you have something that gets stuck in this baffle it causes it to get out of shape and then over time uh, cause damage to the clothes so these three screws you can see on the top one you're cutting these do not re it uh, like over it because you do not want to damage these screws and spread the plastic inside. And you hold it with your hand, wiggle it back and forth. If it's not moving a lot, then that means you fixed it. It seems okay now. You remove this part and then run your drum, uh, you run your dryer. It's gonna work perfectly fine. And yeah, don't forget to put your top panel back in. It's held by two screws. If you have a tall ladder, it's really going to help you. Thank you so much and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Facebook called Hamida Price Repair.